It is a very exciting day because we are shopping today for Christmas decor and I will be decorating tomorrow. I did one of these videos last year and I just think they're so much fun for getting into the holiday spirit and by no means am I saying that I think you have to just go out and buy a bunch of stuff to really appreciate the holidays and enjoy them. I will be using much of what I already have but I just think that these are so fun to see what's in the stores. I'm going to go to quite a few different stores today. If you do want to pick up a few things kind of share our collection that we have accumulated since getting married me and Aiden and just have a fun time getting into the spirit I am so looking forward to decorating tomorrow I cannot wait but today I wanted to visit a few different stores to check out what they have I have a few main things that I want to pick up we're gonna start off at Target because there are a few specific things I want to get here and then we'll check out home goods Kirkland's maybe Michael's maybe world markets a big one I love world market I love their stuff those are all the places that I want to visit but for my list this year I will put a photo right here of some inspiration for decor. I really want to go with a lot of color this year. I love color and in the past I think I went more neutral which I liked and that's your thing. I totally think it's so beautiful and keeping with simple hues. This year I just think it would be fun to really go with color so I definitely want to try to find some colorful ornaments. We already have some neutral ones but I want to add some color in there too. Christmas sheets. I normally don't decorate our bedroom but I kind of want to start the tradition of doing Christmas sheets so I'm going to see if they have any cute ones at Target. I do plan on decking out the apartment with these lit up stars that I'll put a photo right here. I am so excited to do that. Hopefully it's easier than I think to hang those. Some Christmas glassware, maybe like a mug or a cup because we don't really have any. A Christmas blanket. I had a fall one during the fall season and I really liked having that. It was really cozy. Possibly some Christmas pillows for our couch and then I want to try to pick up some ribbon. I am so looking forward to it. I got my Christmas sweater on even though it's 70 degrees here in Texas and we are going to have ourselves a day. Out of Target, I definitely found a few good things there. I got a really cute pillow that I'll show you guys later. I also saw these serving trays. They had a tree and a gingerbread man. They were so, so sweet, but they were $25 each. And so I just felt like it was a little steep for that, but I might go back if I decide I want them, but we're gonna think about that. And now we're gonna head in Home Goods, see what they have here. Just went to Home Goods, Michaels, and Kirkland's because they were all next to each other. And I definitely found a couple of great things at Home Goods. I didn't see anything at Kirkland's. I didn't really vibe with the vibe of stuff. It was either very neutral or red and white and green. But I'm trying to kind of go for something in between. So I didn't see anything there. But I did get some ribbon at Michaels because that's something that I wanted to get. And the last place I'm heading to is World Market. And I'm kind of banking on finding most things there because I love World Market. It's definitely more of my style. So hopefully we'll find some things. I really want to find a wreath. And I I saw a couple in Michaels that I kind of liked, but I'm definitely trying to go for something more natural. Hopefully World Market will have what we're looking for. back home now I'm going to share everything that I got I do want to know if it gets progressively darker it's because there is a large storm that's rolling in right now and I just got home in the nick of time so 
I'll try to blow through this stuff pretty quickly. We'll start with Target because I definitely got the most here. The first is the bed sheet set. This is a flannel sheet set. I think it's so nice. It's still kind of more subtle than a lot of the other ones. I almost went with a cute little Christmas village, but I thought that those would be just easier to kind of style in our bedroom. Also picked up the star pillow. I love this. I might end up cutting off the tassels, but We'll see, I'll probably put this on the couch right here. I got a couple of candles, I really like these, and I have one from Anthropology that I will show you guys in a second because I picked up some stuff from there. And I thought that these would just complement it nicely because it is green. I also got this cup that I think is really sweet. I think this is technically like a cocktail glass, but I don't drink hot coffee very often. So I always wanna get cute glasses that are Christmassy, and so I thought that this one was sweet and I'll probably just use this for coffee or we are doing a Christmas party, so that would be good for that. Okay, and then for the ornaments, I'm a little nervous that this might be a bit too much, but I do have neutral ones and I can always return these if they are too much. But I got a bunch of really pretty colorful ornaments. Again, I wanted to try to make our tree very colorful this year. So I picked up that set and then this one is pretty similar. It just doesn't have the pink and it has some warmer tones. So I plan to mix these together. So we'll see if I end up doing that. And then we also have one smaller tree. And so I just got kind of miniature versions of those same colors for that tree. Also, I'm gonna have everything that I can link down below. And I will also try to find similar items if I can't link anything. And then these, I just thought that these were so cute. I'm really into bells this year. And I thought that these little bell ornaments were cute. So that is everything from Target. I stopped at Michael's and I thought that this print was so sweet. I'm actually gonna put this over in the kitchen, I think. I love the kind of like sweater material on this. So I guess that's technically like a cross stitch. I also thought this candle was super cute. So I picked up that. And then this, I think I'm also gonna try to put somewhere in the kitchen. It's just a wooden Christmas tree. And I thought that that was simple. I also just picked up a bunch of ribbon. I think I'm gonna try to tie some bows on our Christmas tree and also our stockings. So I wanted to have those. And then at World Market, that was honestly the place I thought I was gonna find the most. And I really just didn't see too much. I did really like this pillow. It's just a very simple sweater pillow. I will probably put this on our living room couch. I do love World Market's candles too. I have a lot of paper candles, so I just got these green ones. You guys know I love to burn these when we eat dinner, so I just picked up these. And then these ones I've never seen before, but they're actual Christmas trees. They're so, so cute. Also really liked these gingerbread coasters, so I picked up those. I always wanna get kind of Christmas-themed spatulas, but I don't love to use plastic. I don't really like to use silicone or plastic, and so I like that this one was actually wood, so it's still Christmassy, but you don't have all the plastics. And then behind me, we have some home goods things. I picked up these kitchen towels. I thought that these were just cute because they're very Christmassy, but still a bit more subtle. And I also found a wreath. I was trying to look at World Market, but I didn't really see any, and so I just stopped by a different home goods, and I found this one, which I love because I love the bells on it. I think they're so cute. And I'm pretty sure I'm gonna cut off the red because I do just wanna keep it simple with the greenery. But I just thought that this was stunning and I'm definitely gonna hang this in our kitchen. I also really liked this pillow. I loved how just neutral it was. And I might actually put this in our bedroom. And it's also soft. Sometimes it's hard to find pillows that are actually comfortable too. And then we just have a couple of blankets in this one. I was so excited when I found this because I actually have the red version of this that I used for fall, but I found it in green, which I just thought was so nice for Christmas because this is just a very comfortable blanket. Sometimes it's easy to find Christmas blankets, but they're not super warm and cozy and that one is so cozy. So I'm excited about that. And then I also liked this one. I might return this one too, because this might be a little bit of overkill but i like how this one just has a more vintage feel and i think it'll look nice on our blanket ladder which i put over there recently that's everything i got today but i wanted to show you a couple of things i got at anthropology because they had a candle sale going on i'm not sure if it's still going on i got this candle and this one just smells like a christmas tree i'm pretty sure it's like a fur balsam one but i really liked the way that this one looks too especially with these i think they'll be really pretty together and for some reason i can't find it but i also got this mushroom candle that is so cute because you take the top off and it's a candle but it looks like a mushroom and I thought that that would be a nice addition to our little Christmas village that we have so that is everything that I picked up I'm so excited to decorate tomorrow I think it's going to come together nicely I'm just looking at everything and it all just looks so so cute I will catch you guys tomorrow the next day we are gonna get started on decorating this morning I'm so excited I just laid out everything over on our kitchen island and there's a lot to work with so I definitely feel like we will have a lot to do but I think to start we're gonna start with the Christmas tree I feel like it's only fitting and I think that that's also gonna take the most work because it's pretty large 
and it takes a while to actually put together. So I'm gonna grab that out of the storage and start there. This is the area that I'm planning on putting our tree. I just think it makes the most sense to be right here. This little barrel is also from Target. I got this last year and I'm gonna have to go ahead and move this plant over to our living room. So we're gonna do that first and I might keep this shelf here. I'm trying to decide if I will wanna keep it there. If I do, I'm definitely gonna put some Christmas elements on it, but we're gonna start here with The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree, glimmering light, I am right where I want to be. I'll be home for a couple of days, wander around with you. You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true. Wherever I go, I got you. Our tree is up. It looks so good. I actually still need to fluff it a little bit because there are some gaps still. But I'm actually going to wait to decorate and do the lights, do the ornaments, all that because I want to do something else first. I have talked about these guys in vlogs lately, but I want to hang these paper lanterns on our ceiling. I want to do this first though because there is a chance I need to wait until Aiden gets home. He actually said he would prefer if I did wait until he got home, but. We're gonna try because I do need to stand on a ladder and I obviously don't want to fall, but they're so pretty. And so these are all from different places. This one right here I got at World Market. It has a really pretty ribbon. But then this one is actually from Ikea and I just strung some fishing wire on it. So I'm gonna hang it with that. And what's really cool about these is they actually have a holder where you can put a light bulb in there and string it and plug it in. But that just seems really complicated to kind of do the wiring and all that. I found this hack from a girl that I follow on Instagram. Her name is As Told by Michelle. I love her content, but she recommended actually using these puck lights. And what's nice about these, I actually already put a couple in these ones but they have a remote. So all you do is operate them with batteries and then you can just point. I'll try to show you with this one. You can't really tell cause it's light in here. It'll show more when it is actually dark, but you just point and it'll light it up, which is so cool. So I'm gonna try to hang these. This might have to be something that I wait till he gets home, but I just love the idea of these. And I also have some smaller ones from Amazon I might string too, to kind of give it more variety. I'm really excited though. And I also wanted to note that these are also incredibly easy to DIY too. I actually found a reel recently from one of my favorite accounts on Instagram and she did it with paper bags. So I'll have that link down below if you're interested. They look stunning too. My first snowflake is up. I love it. I think it looks so good. I'm gonna do a few others, but I discovered that our ceilings are actually concrete. So there is no ability to pin anything up there or put any nails in. And so I ended up just tying it to this pipe that runs along the top with the fishing wire. So it worked out. I think this is probably better with being in an apartment. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas and outside snow's glistening. It's just you and me. It's definitely backlit because I'm facing the window, but I love how they turned out. I also love the variation. I know it might drive some people crazy, but for me, I just think it looks very eclectic. And to me, this is like the perfect amount up here. So I'm so happy they turned out. This one's definitely my favorite. This one's from World Market. It is such a beautiful light and it'll be so pretty to see them at night when we turn the puck lights on. Now that these are up, I'm gonna go ahead and do the tree. I'm gonna put the ornaments on. We're gonna keep it simple. I think I'm just gonna do the colorful ornaments and then maybe some garland if I'm feeling it. Overall, I really like the look of just kind of a simpler tree. And I'm also gonna put some snow in the bottom of the barrel to make it look a little more natural. on the tree and I think that they look so cute. I'm so happy that I went with the more colorful bulbs because color just makes me happy. I know it's not for everyone, but 
I really, really like this. I'm deciding now which tree topper I wanna use because I have this one. I used this one last year. It's from Anthropology. I really like this one. It's woven, has little beads on it, but I actually think it might be cool to top the tree with one of the paper lanterns because I have this gold one left. And then I also have this one that's white with a gold trimming. And I feel like with the paper lanterns, it might look cool. So we're gonna try it. And then if that doesn't work, I will just use the Anthropology one. I ended up going with this topper because the other one was just a bit large. I thought it looked kind of cute, but it was a little bit too quirky for me. And so I think that this one's just more simple. Now, I think I'm gonna switch out some of our shelf stuff right here to something that's a bit more just Christmassy. I have some village pieces and such, so I'm not gonna probably switch out absolutely everything, but I think it would be sweet to change out some of these. finish the shelves. These are probably some of my favorite pieces that I've gotten. I actually got these from Ikea. I forgot to mention that. They look so cute up here. And I also wanted to keep photos up here too. So it's not all Christmas stuff, but I also love our mushroom lamp. I also didn't mention this one is from Anthropology, and those are all battery operated, which is nice. And then this is a nativity set that I got from a thrift store a while ago. Eden's mom got us this snow globe. So that is everything up here. I think it looks really nice. I have an idea for our stockings. So we don't have a mantle, obviously, and so it's always kind of tricky trying to find the right place to put these, but I would like to try to put them on the ledge up here above the tree. I think that that might be cute. I also used this one last year for cash, but I'm just not really digging this vibe with all the color. I feel like this is too rustic, so I'm gonna have to get cash a new one. In the meantime, I'm just gonna put up me and Aiden's. <laughs> love how it turned out over here. I'm thinking I might try to add like a garland or something above the TV, but for now I'm gonna keep it simple. Next up is the couch. I'm gonna add just a couple of pillows and then also mess around with the blankets that I got, see what I wanna put on the blanket ladder versus put on the couch. I keep looking at this corner. I love this corner, it looks so, so good. I ended up putting one of my garlands below the TV too and I just think it looks really nice, but let's do the couch now. Then you know it's Christmas snow starts to fall then you know it's christmas for the children above all then you know i love how the couch looks this star pillow is so cute that's definitely one of my favorite things that i got and now we're gonna do the coffee table and this i do like to keep pretty simple because we do eat on here too and i like this to not be too cluttered or filled with anything too tall because it'll block the tv but i do have a few things i want to add here Stand under the mistletoe, and it's christmas day the joyful times we witness I also have one of these alpine trees. I ordered this back when they were on sale forever ago. I just forgot though that I had it. And so I'm thinking that I'm gonna set it right here in front of the couch because there is a plug back there behind the couch. So I might be able to extend it that far. So we'll see, I'm gonna try it. If not, we can play around with it and move it somewhere else. So I just put the tree right here, but honestly, this is way too much going on between our giant fiddle leaf tree. And so I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually put this outside on our balcony and replace it with that fake one there because this says indoor or sheltered outdoor use. And this is kind of the definition of a sheltered outdoor use. So I'm gonna try it, see what it looks like. I wasn't planning on putting anything Christmassy on the balcony, but 
thought it might be a nice touch. Let's do it. Sorry, it's a bit loud out here, but the tree looks so good. And of course I will move it in if it's windy, but I did put weights under it. And then I put my scarf over top. So it kind of disguises it. So it's in place, but if it storms or anything, I will bring that in. And then I also switched out the yellow pillows for this one, which I was gonna put on the bed, but I think it might go better here because the yellow is just a little bit too much going on. I think it looks good though. I moved this tree again. It was just way too much over here. There was a lot going on, so. And as you saw when I was decorating up here, my frame actually fell. This is the Hark the Herald Angels Sing Hymn. It's one of my favorite hymns. It fell and broke, so I'm gonna have to get a new frame for that, but for now, I just have it up there. This is actually something that Aiden's uncle made, so we like to keep that there. Also put the garland here. I think it looks really nice. For the table, I'm keeping it really simple. I just put the Christmas tree taper candles right there. I don't love having a lot on the table. In the past, I actually had a garland going through here, but it would shed. And I just like the look of the simplicity, especially because there's a lot going on behind it. So we're just gonna keep it like that. And now we're gonna move over to the kitchen. And I don't have a ton that I wanna do in the kitchen, but I do wanna try to hang our little sign above the stove top, hang our wreath, switch out the kitchen towels, and just spruce it up a little bit. I think the kitchen looks so great. I love this wreath. I love that I cut the red off too. I honestly feel like I would have put a red bow if it didn't have the bow already on there. And then over here, I love this sign. I can't believe I just picked this up at Michael's. I think it's so cute. I just hooked it here with a little command hook. I think the little tree is such a nice addition too. And then I just added our spatula. That's actually how I just found Cash in the bed. He's not gonna like me because I'm about to put the sheets on. And we're gonna see how those look. And side note, I actually moved this plant over here and I think it looks so good right there. I love how it just goes all the way down right there. I think it looks nice. But in the meantime, that'll just be there. Let's put these sheets on. I just put the sheets on. I think that they look so good, especially when the pillows are sitting on the top. I just like that they peek out a little bit, but it's not overwhelming. It is definitely different for me. I'm so not used to having patterned sheets. We'll see how long they last. They also are flannel sheets. And so it's currently 80 degrees outside. So this might be too hot. We do keep it pretty cool in the evening. So I think it should be fine. But overall, I think they're so cute, especially when December hits. I think they're really gonna be especially cozy. I am so beat. It's about four o'clock right now. And I think I'm going to take a break for the rest of the day. We're actually about to go to a workout class here soon, but I'm going to sit with the decor for the night and see if I want to add anything else. I'm thinking that I don't, but I also might add some stuff into the bathroom. I'll also share what it looks like in the evening, which I'm so excited about, but I really love how everything came together. It looks so nice.
It's the next day and I'm pretty much loving how everything is. I don't want to change too much, but there are two things that I want to do today that I didn't get to yesterday. I got these from Anthropology. It's essentially a string of lights that kind of looks like a curtain. And a lot of people that I follow on Instagram, they actually use this over their mantles and it looks so dreamy. I don't have a mantle. I wish I did. So I think I'm going to try to install this outside above the couch. I had tested a few different command strips out there and it doesn't really stick too well on the brick. And so I'm I'm gonna try to do it above the couch and see if it sticks if it doesn't work it's okay we'll find another place for this but this looks so stunning except i read the reviews after i purchased it and a lot of people said it's kind of finicky and it's a little bit more expensive so hopefully ours works well and i think i have some untangling to do so we're gonna do that and then i also realized that i forgot to put the bell ornaments on the tree so i'm gonna add some of these in there's obviously not too many so that shouldn't take too too long and then after we do those two things i want to show you guys what it looks like at night because it looks so 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 nice. Should all the acquaintance be forgot and never brought to mind? Should all the acquaintance be forgot and days of old? couple of touches except the lights out there did not end up working i guess i got a faulty remote i cannot get it to work so i'm gonna have to see if i can get a replacement which is totally no big deal also added all the bells i'll share a nighttime tour here excuse the laundry running but here is our little nighttime tour i think that it looks so magical i do think that i need to put a few more puck lights within each of the lanterns especially on these two guys i think that this one is okay over there but i still think that they look so beautiful all lit up we have our tree over here have our little village area it honestly kind of worked out too that i didn't have the hanging lights here because when the tree reflects on the window it looks lit up outside Side, so it is totally fine have our little coffee table area i just lit a couple of the candles but i'll probably just do one at a time have our alpine tree lit up there along with all the things on the bookshelf i'm so happy with how it turned out it's very much us i'm so happy with all the color too i think it looks just so warm and bright just serves as a reminder to focus on what is good and truly finding all the joy in this world i think especially for me with my faith it reminds me of the reason of the season which is on the birth of christ and i'm so thankful for the season to come but i hope you guys enjoyed this video again if you guys want to check out any of the links i'll have them down below and i will catch you guys in my next video Bye. Of kindness yet 